Hey, what is up? Wow, that really sounded professional for a second there. I really felt it. I felt like I was jacksepticle for a second there. Okay, whatever, I'm, I'm past it. Now, often I've been met with many inquiries about my video setup recording program. I use Shadowplay to record. Personally, I never liked OBS. Bandicam was okay, but you know, it wasn't super amazing mind blowing. I have Frap still because I paid for it and they stopped all support for it back when Windows 10 came or like in 2013 because like Shadowplay came, they're just like, there's better stuff for free, fuck it. So fuck you who owns a key. Thanks, Fraps, thanks a lot. So don't buy that ever. And there was another one I used, but I can't even remember the name of it. Now, since we've already gone through Shadowplay being my main source, if you have an NVIDIA card, you get Shadowplay for free. So boom, right there, it's total boon. There's a lot you can do with Shadowplay. I'll probably get into that in another video because that's not the point of this video. This video is my rendering. Now, the reason why most of my videos look so crisp sometimes, all right, I'm not a rendering master. Don't get me wrong. Don't take this as a gospel truth, all right? I'm still a small channel, just like you, just like everybody else. You know, I put my holy pants on one leg at a time until they totally rip and I can no longer wear them due to my fat body. All jokes aside, let's get into rendering. Now, I used to use Sony Vegas religiously. And still to this day, I can do more in Sony Vegas because I know it better than I know Adobe Premiere. Pro, okay, like Sony Vegas, I worked with so long, oh man, I've worked with Sony Vegas since like the early 2000s. But then I noticed like, uh, you know, the quality of my videos on YouTube wasn't that amazing. Now I know Leafy uses Sony Vegas, but does Leafy even really edit his own videos? Who knows? But we're gonna stick to what I'm doing. Okay, let's hit this off. Let's say you already made your video, you did all your editing, all this garbage, you know, blah, 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 blah. Next, let's move on to the rendering side of things. We go into File, Export, Export Media. Now, usually I have everything match source. H.264 is the encoding format, best for YouTubes. And just follow all of this here, because basically just like this, I'm, I'm not a master here. Uh, audio, if you wanna save more space, you could always change your audio. I don't even bother. Uh, effects, I didn't do any effects in this. So right here, basically this is my standard setup. Everything's ticked off to match source. We wanna render at maximum depth, I always do. We wanna do a VBR2 pass, uh, target bit rate. I always go at least around the 200 level with gaming video, cause it looks better. But keep in mind, there are just some things that aren't gonna translate well. Like uh, grass for instance, like games that have crazy levels of grass at this level of uh, bit rate and encoding and so on and so forth is hit or miss. Sometimes it'll look fine, other times it turns into a blocky mess because of YouTube compression. So do not beat yourself up for things that YouTube compression is responsible for. Please remember that. Okay, and that should be about it really. That's pretty much all it is to it. Uh, level 5.1, it all pans out as soon as you select this stuff. Why am I using my hand as if you can see my hands? Sorry. Once you select this stuff here, of course I live in America, so if you're like in Europe, you'd use PAL or something. Uh, what else is there? Now, let's say you wanted to take it to another level, like clicking it to high and changing the level from 5.1 to 5.2, but 5.2 is usually for like 4K level videos and stuff like that. So yeah, no need for that here. 5.1 is fine. And I found like I didn't see a major difference between main and high. It seemed negligible in my opinion. I haven't tried it recently since YouTube's compression and video uploading crap has gotten better. Maybe it's worth me, you know, testing it out later. And boom, export. And that's pretty much it. We are now done. Those are my rendering settings. The video probably shouldn't have been this long. I apologize. I will now get over your hair. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you as always for tuning into my channel. Maybe I'll add a video at the end of this to show what it looks like. But, in it, but if you've seen the videos on my channel, you probably don't need that. So why should I waste your time? All right, I'm out of here. See you later. Wait, where's the off button?